Welcome back to another vlog. I just got done filming a bunch of branded content so I need to take a break and I need to pick up my husband from the airport in like two hours so I figured I would run some errands and go to Michael's and possibly Marshall's if I have enough time. All the stores are already selling their Halloween decor and I want to go see what I can find. This is my OOTD. I got this top from Marshall's last week. It was like less than $10. Super cheap but I love the little bow detail it has. Of course I'm wearing my boxer shorts and my gazelles. I haven't worn these enough especially for how expensive they are so I'm trying to get more use out of them. I got these bala weights in the mail yesterday from TikTok shop and I did a 30 minute workout with them last night. Oh my god. These things are no joke but I love the bala brand because they have so many great workout items and they're on TikTok shop so I have my mat from bala. I have my ankle weights from bala. I use them on my wrists too but I wanted to get these so I can do a workout with these and those. I haven't done it yet. I just did a workout with these by themselves last night. Um, and there was a resistance band. It was a full body workout, but the next workout I'm going to do, I'm going to be wearing those and using these. So I'm a little nervous, but I need it. I need to tighten my body up because I've been getting a little flabby, if you will. I love my hair styled like this. I wore it like this to the beach for the 4th of July. And the hack is you have to put a ponytail in it before you put the claw clips in. Otherwise the claw clips will kind of just like fall out or it'll get loose and unravel. But when you tie your hair back with the ponytail first, it stays in place all day. So cute. I just got to Marshall's and I just saw someone on TikTok talking about how you can set up your GPS for what time you want to get there so you can know when to leave. So I just did that for the first time. It's currently 525 and I need to be at the airport by 630. So it says that I need to leave here by 615. So apparently it's only going to take me like 15 minutes to get there, which is nice. Um, but we'll see if that changes. You know how traffic is just kind of unpredictable and it usually always does change. So, um, that leaves me with just enough time to get some content. I'm just going to have to come back here tomorrow so I can take my time and get more content. But right now I'm just trying to get in and out, get some cute content for my Instagram feed, my TikTok, and, um, then I'll be on my way to pick up my husband. How cute are these ghosts? I want one. Only $10. I feel like this would look so cute in my bathroom. Found some more Halloween stuff. Look how cute this is. I used to have a mini one of these. I think I got it from Hot Topic and I used it as a piggy bank. All of the Nightmare Before Christmas fans know. That used to be my favorite movie. I'm looking for the pink Halloween decor though. I haven't seen anything yet. I guess I'm just too early because I'm not seeing any more Halloween decor. I was really hoping to find some ghost pillows today too. I just got to Michael's and look how much cute Halloween decor stuff they have. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to get some content real quick, but I gotta go because I'm about to be late to pick up my husband. <laughs> this stuff is so cute. Happy Thursday. It's been a full two weeks since I've had my lips dissolved and I just got to my appointment to get them refilled. Don't worry. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm probably just going to do like a syringe and then be done. Okay. Because I was looking back at pictures and videos and I was a little scared. I went a little bit too far as one usually does when you start getting cosmetic procedures done. Okay. It's just inevitable. I mean, it's hard not to, if you know, you know, um, but these are my lips right now. It's really dark because I'm in a parking structure, um, but I love them. Don't get me wrong, but the top lip, she just needs a little bit of help. She's looking a little non-existent, deflated, if you will. I'm so freaking excited to get them done. They're going to look so good. This is the before, and I do have them lined, obviously, so... They probably look a little bit bigger and just better overall than they do when I don't have anything on them. But they're about to look even better. We just put the numbing cream on, so we're gonna let that kick in for 10 minutes and then we are gonna get started. I've had my lips done. <laughs> 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 
My lips look so freaking good. They are a little swollen, but the numbing cream made it so easy. Like, it was not painful at all, um, especially compared to the dissolving process. But I'm starving, so I just stopped by Big B Coffee. This is my first time coming here. I've been seeing it, and I've always wanted to try it. So I got myself a coffee. I haven't had any caffeine today yet. I'm not supposed to drink out of a straw. She said I could, and if I do, just do it on the side. I have a straw, but... I mean, I don't want to make a mess, but I think I could sip this out of like... My lips still are pretty numb, so I'm trying not to spill on myself. I got an iced vanilla latte, um, half sweet, because I feel like these types of things are just always way too sweet, especially from like Starbucks or wherever else. I usually always make my coffee at home, but we're treating ourselves today. After I eat, I'm about to go to TJ Maxx and see if they have any Halloween decor since my shopping was kind of cut short yesterday. I hope they have more Halloween decor at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. And, um, I plan on making a little vlog for TikTok. She took off my makeup on my chin and I'm breaking out so bad right now. So I brought my makeup with me. I'm gonna touch that up after I eat. Um, and yay, I feel like so much cuter. She did like 0.8 of a syringe, so not even a whole syringe. And my injector's name is Laura and she is chef's kiss, a godsend. She does her own lips. She's such a perfectionist and that's why I knew I was in good hands because look at this artwork that she did. I'm gonna eat real quick and also they have like a chorizo sandwich. It was like super big right in front of my face. I was like, do I want sausage, bacon? Cause I'm still in the mood for breakfast even though it's like 1.30. Once I saw the chorizo, I was like, it was meant to be. Oh, I'm having such a great day and uh, I'm just trying to keep these good vibes going. I don't know how it's gonna be trying to eat with these lips right now, but we'll see. Let's see if this is actually any good. Ooh, it's like a cheddar bagel. It smells really good. I mean, it doesn't smell healthy, but honey, I've been craving chorizo. Where's the chorizo though? I mean, I smell it. Oh, it's like a chorizo patty. Okay. Mmm. That looks so good. All I had today was a banana, and I usually always make sure to eat breakfast, so... It's about to smack. It's too hot. Uh, uh. Mm. My lips are feeling a little sore. Mm. But I love the soreness, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of like, it's similar to a tattoo where like, I like the pain, right? Cause you know it's for a good reason. Like it hurts so good. <laughs> True life, I'm addicted to lip filler. That would be my episode. <laughs> I have dried up blood on my lips, okay? I'm looking like... <laughs> I look like I just got punched in the mouth. I'm covering these pimples up, baby. I cannot look at them any longer. Oh, I feel like me again. I don't know when this happened, but I did end up spilling coffee on my top. I'm like trying to cover it up with my hair right now. <laughs> This is all I'm seeing so far. I found the viral ghost pillow, but I want one that's a light pink shade. This is just too much of a hot pink for me. It's $20. I don't know about the material. It feels a little, I feel like it could be softer. But look how cute these two ghosts are. I got some pumpkin pillows. I came to Home Goods and I found the cute ghost pillows. My only dilemma is I don't know which one to get. I'm tempted to get both, but I don't need both. <sighs> I wish this one was a little bit more pink, but it's like more of a peach color. And then this one's like a little bit too hot of a pink for me, but I think I like this one more. They have skull pillows. It's a pretty lavender shade. I'm back home now and I didn't end up getting any Halloween decor because I just need to wait a little bit longer unless I see something that I absolutely have to have and I haven't seen anything that I need. So I put the pillows back, which I'm proud of myself. 
Um, but I did get two things from TJ Maxx, and these are two things that I have been wanting. They've been in the back of my head. So like in my last couple of vlogs, I got one of these for my cabinets, and I have been needing another one. This was only $4.99, so I plan on using this for my cups because I have one for my plates and my bowls. And then I got this cute little wooden bowl. This was only $9.99 for like bananas and fruit and just miscellaneous stuff that we don't put in the fridge because we don't have a bowl. So we just keep our stuff out on the counter. We've been needing one of these for the longest time and it matches our little boho theme that we have going. The numbing cream is starting to wear off my lips and they're feeling a little sore, but nothing too bad, nothing I can't handle. Excuse me. So this is the before. I feel like this will help. Perfect. That looks so much better and now we have so much more room. I wasn't sure if the bowl was gonna be too small but I think it's perfect. I'm about to put these bananas in the freezer so. Boom, and then I can put my avocados in there so they can ripen and my peaches. Sunday I just finished a 20 minute workout I was straight bumming it the last two days because my lips were a lot more bruised than they are now it's finally starting to go away um, and I just didn't feel like wearing makeup to cover it up and my lips were a little sore the soreness is finally subsiding I forgot how sore your lips get when you get them done so I was just letting them heal I didn't wear any makeup I did a couple face masks because my skin is breaking out I have concealer on right now because I just needed to feel a little bit better about myself today I've never seen the Hunger Games before surprisingly and I just finished a book not too long ago that was pretty similar to it so it made me want to watch the movies and I binged all four back to back and then last night I finally watched The Devil Wears Prada for the first time too I know I don't know why I haven't seen that movie I've seen bits and pieces but I've never like fully sat down and watched the whole thing I heard they're coming out with a part two so that's why I watched that one and Skims had a sale the last couple of days so I made a few orders I'm like the onyx tier so I get like early access and stuff which is nice because like even with early access like most of their sizes are sold out I just got a large in everything because they were sold out of small and medium um I typically wear a medium but I like my stuff a little bit oversized and I feel like when I put it in the dryer it does shrink. I usually don't put my skims in the dryer but like just in case. I mean my weight does fluctuate so I have this in a onesie but I got it in the shorts. I love the print. This is their soft lounge collection. Again if you're gonna get anything from skims I recommend getting their soft lounge line because anything else well I ordered their cotton line and I returned the whole order just because it did not feel soft and it just felt kind of rough. But their cotton line is even on sale now, so I was surprised. And their mediums in the cotton line fit me like a small, so yeah, the whole cotton line is just not it, in my opinion. But the soft lounge line is true to size. I know these are going to be a little bit big on me, but I haven't even tried them on yet. I mean, I'm just unboxing them right now. Um, and then I got the pants. So I have the shorts, the pants, they didn't have the top, they were sold out, so I got a pink top. I don't wear my skims enough, so these are the pants. They're so freaking soft, I love them so much. Oh, I'm so excited to wear these. I'm gonna wear these tonight. I've been gaining weight lately, so I think it's gonna be fine. Since they didn't have the flower top, I got this pink top to match, the shorts and the pants. Um, the only thing about their sale is everything is final sale, so you can't do like returns or exchanges, which is fine because like I said, I already own stuff from this line, so I know how it fits and how it feels. I mean, this large doesn't even look that big, right? I mean, this is a large, kind of looks like a medium, so that's nice. Yay! Um, but I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog, give you a little update on the lips. I've just been recovering the last two days. Um, rotting on the couch, if you will, just 
living my best life, not creating content or working. I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new one next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.